Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Not Newfoundland. It's a Japanese playthrough, and we are rebel stomping in all the land that we force fed our colonial nation in about 10 years. We, we just took everything. Uh, it, was, it was beautiful to build. What are you doing there? We were at war with these. Went to war with you. And they were allied with these guys, which are the remnants of Portugal. Because Portugal, as you can see, big scary France, no Spain, no Castile. Morocco took what was Portugal, and Portugal got relegated into the islands, the Azores and uh, Madeira. Madeira is a weird island, especially from a distance. Just a big pointy thing. Right. Japanese Alaska, I like the name of that. I like how it's spread out, even though we only have these three provinces, but, oh well. All right, we were leaving, the leave, we were leaving the force that was shipped over here to stop rebels for our colonial nation, who is already more used to us than Ming was. And we were building a force down here to take on Malacca. Okay, I want two stacks of about 25 down here. So we'll split you directly in half, and what does that give us? It gives us a 13.25 for you and a 15.24. Right, well, we'll. I'll get you up to 15. 15 to 4. 13 to 5. I will right, we'll give you another cannon. I like the idea of one cavalry on either side, uh, on either flank. I don't think two will be required. I think this should be enough for Malacca on their own if they're on their own. They're allied with Kedda, that's alright. Dylan, enough now. Internal conflicts. Alright, we'll help you with this. Who's this? Alright, this is part of Japanese Max Room. Oh well. Well we'll send you up there to put them down. You can come down and do that. We will not allow Japanese Max Roo to get fragmented. We will hold it together, even if it's on our own. Why are we losing money? Why are we losing money? Harbour fees. <sighs> we still have. Ah, oh, balls. When we did the circumnavigation. This has been going on for so long. Cancel fleet burning from the rights. Shit. What else have we got? What else have we just not not cancelled? Taranga gives military access to us, that's alright. relations from Haiti. <laughs> Alright, okay. Must be fighting none of us. 16, 17, 18. This will give us a little bit of corruption, but we're directly... Well, yeah, we need to take it. We'll take it now. Gives us the Asian Musketeer. Are we about to have a fight? No, it's going to take a while. We're in a fight here already. We'll wait for this one to finish. Then we'll take the Asian Musketeer. We'll increase this in order to wipe out any corruption. Why am I... Is it purely on our advisors? Army maintenance. Yeah, fair one. We have just... We have just made a load of stuff down here. 
So what's our composition? 1525. That's all right. It's not it's not to our uh, combat width, but it allows us to get cannons on the board. So you. 81 days. About unmanly tactics. Concerned about our unmanly tactics. Armour tradition. Yeah, I'll be fine. Recall you. You're no longer a valid rival for us. We're weak at the moment because we've just changed infantry type. So we'll take this back. We'll bring these around anyway. Too few rivals. Who can I rival that's close to us? I tire. I tire? Really? I tire. Go on then. Costly trade embargo against Yan. Yeah, I'll, I'll sort that out. Oh my god. These are on the peasants. Still. Are you nearly there yet? Yeah, you are. Right, you've won that. Wait for you to unseize that and then you'll come back. Thankfully, anything where. Alright, I need to go and support them. At least add to the combat width. The less losses my colonial nation makes, the better. Yeah, there we go, We've, we're onto the flanks. Any Anywhere where it kicks off, it immediately goes down to zero unrest, and you get the the minus 100 for recent uprising. You can go straight up there and kill them. Convert you. Cost of trade embargo against you, so I'll revoke that. And with our free dude, we'll bring you back into some sort of relevance. What's the unrest like down here? It's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. All oh, this is... Are they colonizing already? It's colonial Mexeru colonizing. Ah, <gasps> they are. Chop that tree. Chop it good. You generic westernized person with your axe and your wobbly tree that never actually falls down. So what ideas did you take or did you just take all of ours? Expansion plutocratic economic and quality. So how do how do your colonial nations get their ideas? Is it just they get a massive pool, here go, here's all these points that you can get, put them into anything you want, and they immediately go out and say, right, I want expansion plutocratic economic, and then we'll go from there. That would be interesting. That would be interesting. Good idea that we went for expansion though. Uh, with all of this land up here. And down here. He could conceivably get quite large. Which is good for us. I mean, we don't want him to be too big that he thinks that he's the big potato. But... No, good luck to him. On um, in degree. Yep. Strip there, you on there. They will take out this, but we should be able to Oh, 
quite easily. Do we t do we bring our trade fleet in? Do we mix them together? Hanzu and Yara Hanzu as well. Don't think we'll need to. No, we will. We will. Let's not be silly. Right, merge up the fleet. been done. Split off enough to continue with that siege. You're on that siege. We should get rid of his forts, but what can you do? You can't make your vassals get rid of forts. Bring you back now that you're merged up. Looks like you're not, but actually you are because of the weird moving after you've paused the button shenanigans that happens with fleets. We occupied them, we occupied them, siege of that's over, agent was discovered, we'll have to send him back out as soon as we can. Now you go all the way up to there, uh, we'll just walk up with you. Harsh life on the ocean, new sailors, I think with 16,000 sailors, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. On the siege of Chipas. Okay. So, you're coming back, you're there, you're there, we'll put you two on top of them, and we'll wait for whatever. It's a whack of rebel time, and we are winning. Okay, actually we'll go across the strait here. I like this music, the, uh, the little piano thing that's going on. It's better than the Christmas music that we turned off. All right, you get across there into their capital, I believe it is. Yeah, instant white. And if we can look, only needs nine. So we'll split off at least you and most of you and you can go and siege something else it's been fairly painless unless they're doing something like landing on, no, thank god. Is this Malacca up here as well? No, oh, right, okay. Well, we're not too interested in that, we just want the stuff that's in our node. Japan occupied Delhi. Okay. And Peric, good stuff. And you can come down and you can just walk to there. You can go down as well, stand there. Trading in cocoa. We'll put our trade our cogs into this fleet so that when we've finished on sieging this island, we'll move them straight across and siege this island. Uh, we won't be able to take this without taking the fort itself. And now we wait. And now we wait. Lots of free diplomats. We got caught in Lang, so we need to send them back. We might as well build a spy network in Yan too. Who else? Brunei? No, we'll leave one free. We'll leave one free. Ideas or actual tech? We'll wait for the actual tech to come along. Admin, yep. Yeah. Yeah, wait for the actual tech. Recruitment sabotaged. Okay. We've won that. We will win this. Get the men on the boats. A 
heretics are deheretized. Outstanding. Shinto will be the dominant faith in the Far East. We'll have a look at the religious map actually. See how we're looking. Yeah, this should be should be fairly easy. Although, do we go land on Kedah stuff? Kedah, 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 Kedah. Do we need to? Fry's land, Fry's land of all the people. Of all the people, Fry's land. Let's have a look at the trade. They are in the Malacca trade node, so I want at least these two islands off them. And this. Oh no, that's ours. Okay, these two islands. So once we're finished up here, we'll we'll go down there. We'll try to take them as well. Because we can't claim directly on Kedah, we may need to claim these through um, Malacca, uh, negotiate just with the war leader, and take his mate's land. It's a bit of a a dickish move for Malacca to actually agree to give away his mate's land, but yeah, it's fine. Okay, we'll win that. We will win this. We'll see what we're willing to, to take now. It's not controlled by our allies. That's easily remedied. Let's go control it then, shall we? And that's their capital, so I doubt we'll need more than 10. It's now where we see that Ked has built up a force of 30 troops. No, just the two. That's fine. Get amongst it. Getting a penalty for an amphibious landing, but 9.8 versus 2. Even without a dude. We get a diplomatic insult. We don't want to be fighting with British Columbia anyway, so we will try to ease the tension. They have nowhere to run, so it's an instant wipe. And we are fully blockading whilst... Yep. And on we go. Revolt. Obviously not up there. Right. What sort of rest have you got over here? Yeah, bits and pieces. Bits and pieces. We'll move into the areas where things might happen. We'll at least stand on the forts so they can't be... Or any fort that's in an area with unrest. So they can't be immediately taken. And how many troops do they have? Just the five. I must have had. Must have been fighting. Yeah, just the five. Are you in debt or anything? Don't know. Let's have a look at tech. Yep, we'll take that. Naval morale. We're catching up quickly. Uh, especially with the techs that we took. Um, giving us a... Discount on not only ideas but tech itself. It's very strong. That shouldn't take too long to fall. We'll take these, we'll chuck the uh Yep, take you. Now build university, admin efficiency, development efficiency, good. All good. Okay, yeah, we've got that back. There's... Okay. That's fine. With this fall, we'll see if they'll be willing to... to peace out after that for stuff. If not, we'll go and quickly take this. 85%, come on. A jump was discovered. Well, we will fabricate a claim anyway. Negotiate 
thing, Bo. I will remember that and get back to there as soon as we can. Heretics are being deheretized. Come on, fall. Right, now can we peace out for good stuff? Can't be demanded because it's not controlled. Right, we'll get back on the boat. And we'll island hop until we've got the bits that we want. Because as much as we can clay Malacca, because we have no way of fabricating on Kedar, I think it is. Yeah, we have no way of fabricating on Kedar. We have no real way of getting these islands unless it's through one of their allies. So I'm sure I've explained that once before. Sorry if I have. Uh, once this has fallen, we will negotiate through Malacca themselves. But they're at low now. They're at low. Well, 21 aggressive expansion with who? Just Malacca. What else do you have? I mean, if, if I can take land with the only getting aggressive expansion with people that don't count, then I'm fine with that. We'll suffer zero overextension. Why will we suffer zero overextension? Okay. Full humanist. Go. Ooh, that was a colony. Interesting. Well, we'll keep it going. Be fine. And now with... Do we really not have to call them? Our extension 0%. Oh, so they're so weak that they're not counting as overextension, I assume. And you. We want as much as we can get from you without going mental. He says, immediately going mental and demanding everything. The Ottomans. Hmm. The Ottomans. Well, if you weren't so close to my face, Ottomans. AT over extension. I think we take that. Even though the Ottomans are going to get really angry with us, they'd have to actually get over here to do anything about it. And I don't think that they will. I think they've got enough to be going on with. Malacca is going to be almost non existent. Zapotec doesn't matter, they're over in Mexico. So is Itza and Zhu. Ottomans are the only ones, only ones that count. And Sulu. I don't care. I don't care. Let's go on that. Whack. Done. Full humanist. Get yourself to work. And the plan that we had many, many years ago about wouldn't it be good if we could get down into the Spice Islands and take them for our own. Seems to, uh, yeah, no. Seems to have uh, worked. What kind of unrest is there? Nothing anywhere because we're that good. Go back to friendly land. Oh, I didn't manage to take this, did I? 
Damn you, Malacca. Damn you. One more water and Malacca will be out of there. Coalition. Yeah, Ottomans don't like us, but we don't like the Ottomans. I can't believe how they have one island here. The tiniest island in the world. And suddenly they're getting pissy. It has 125 aggressive expansion with this dude up in Serbia. He's like, I've never seen Japan ever. In Bosnia, anyway. I've never seen Japan ever, but I'm really angry because they were taking islands that I've never been to or don't even know about. Stupid. Stupid, dirty Ottomans. Anyway. That has been this episode. Uh, let's have a quick look at what that has done for our trade. It would have done a lot because there no centre of trades centers of trade anywhere over here it was purely to get the land and even because we've got the land it's not adding much because we've had to push the autonomy so high uh, in the next episode we will give out some states especially down here even if they're not full states uh, we'll get the autonomy coming down so that we can we can get trade power going here We'll also build more boats. We'll get our boats. We'll get you back on the boat and we will get you back to somewhere where it counts. Um, we've got our boats fixed up. We will see, can we upgrade ships? We need 1500 to upgrade 69 ships. That'll be our number of our trade ships, right? Well, we will concentrate on building new ships as opposed to upgrading old ships. Um, and we will gradually phase out the older ship types as and when we get more money coming in. But that will be in the next episode. Join me in the next episode for our subsequent war to come on Liang in an attempt to wrestle the Hanzu trade node from them it's far too much is getting dragged inland and it goes out and it yeah it gets dragged out and it never comes back out up to Beijing and then yeah Beijing it goes west we need control of this node we need this we really do need this and the coast and maybe Local trade power. You and you. Um, so, as I root out all the corruption that's going to go on because of our newly acquired provinces, I will say goodbye here. Take care.